So, welcome to James's Model Railway, and someone asked me in the comments to do uh, a small wiring diagram. So what I've done, just to make things easier on this, the three wires I use on my Pico, Pico, my Cobalt uh, Slow Mo uh, um, Digital IP, I think, um, point motors, I only use three of the wires on it, which are my DCC track input, my power input, and the frog wire. The frog wire goes to the dropper on the frog of the point. Um, if I just pause, so we're back. The frog wire attaches to this wire here. That goes to this green wire here. So that changes the polarity of the switch on the on here. That changes this polarity. And then on here, these two black and red wire, this goes onto the bus wire, this also goes onto the bus wire, and that's how it's all powered for me. I, I do know I am starting to get to the point where the um, control itself is struggling to take all the points and run the locomotives at the same time, so I think I'm going to have to get a um, another power supply just to run the points with, I reckon. Just because they're, I think it's starting to struggle under the load of uh, points that I've got. But we'll, we'll see what happens on that one. Um, but this is kind of, I, I, I'm not great with wiring diagrams. I just know that um, your DC track goes to your power or your main bus uh, track, main bus line around your layout. Your power also goes to your main bus line. It doesn't, I don't think it matters which way you put your red and your black in your uh, control into your motor, I'm not sure. It's just I know, obviously, my DCC track, that is my red wire and my power, funnily enough, is going to be my black one. Whether that's the right way or the wrong way, I don't know. But I do know this frog point, this frog, um, the frog wire, that does attach to your the wire coming away from the frog, so you can change your polarity. There are also... Um, if I move this wire out, so or can I just click there so it focuses? So you also have the P button, which I'm assuming is a push button, a switch, and then you have your uh, uh, another set of things, which I don't know what they do. Um, your COM, your LHS, and your RHS. Um, I don't know what they do. It's one of those things I haven't tried yet. And uh, yeah, so that's just kind of how I've got mine wired in. It is just literally that simple, plain and easy. Um, and if you have problems with, and I'm just going to move and pause. If you are having problems wiring a double slip like this, I think this is double slip. The frog wire for this, this side has to be on that side motor. And then the wire from this side has to go on to this side. So your left wire goes to your right motor, and your right wire goes to your left motor. And that is as simple as it is. It took me weeks to get my head around that, but it is that, it is that simple. So thanks again, guys. What? Thanks again for watching, guys. And I won't be able to edit this because this is done on my mobile phone. So thank you, guys. And catch you on the next episode.